Okay, for this calculation, we're going to solve using Kirchhoff's law. It's an activity question. It reads as follows. A generator has an EMF of 100 volts and an internal resistance of 0,4 ohms and is connected in parallel to a battery that has an EMF of 75 volts and an internal resistance of 0,3 ohms. This combination is used to supply a load that has a resistance of 35 ohms and we must use Kirchhoff's law to determine the direction of current through the generator, the battery, and calculate the load voltage. So let's take a look at our uh, diagram. Our first loop is loop A, B, E, F, A. Now we always work in a clockwise direction, so you'll see that E1 is positive and E2 is negative. I1 is in a clockwise direction and I2 is also in a clockwise direction. So let's have a look here. We have plus E1 minus E2 equals plus I1 R1 plus I2 times R2. So let's substitute. So 100 volts minus uh, 75 volts will give you 25 volts. Then we have uh, 0, 0,4 times I1 plus 0, 0,3 times I2. Now we can call this equation 1. Let's have a look at our next loop. I'll use a different color here. Right, now we're going to be looking at loop B, C, D, E, B. Okay, let me, sorry, I made a mistake there. We're looking at loop B, C, D, E, B. All right, now, remember we are in a clockwise direction. So this battery, um, we have E2 in a clockwise direction. We have I2, which is now negative, And we have I3, which is positive. Let me just write this here for you. So we have plus E2 is equal to minus I2 R2 plus I1 minus I2 times the load resistor of R3. Right, that battery voltage is 75 volts um, equals negative and we have 0, 0,3 times I2 plus now I'll make one extra step. Let's just put the brackets here. I1 minus I2. The load resistor is 35 ohms. So we need to multiply out this bracket. So therefore it's 75 equals minus 0, 0,3 I2 plus 35 I1. And we have minus 35 I2. All right, now you'll see that we have one I1 over there and we have two I2s there. So to simplify, we say 75 is equal to plus 35 I1, negative 35 comma 3 I2. And if you want, you can call this equation 2. All right, what we're going to do now is we have to simplify by finding a common factor now, I prefer to work with uh, I1, okay, let me just see over here, um, let me grab my pen, okay, alright, um, over here, 35, I1, and over here, 0, 0,4 I1, I want to simplify those and cancel them out, so what I do is I say uh, 35 divided by uh, 0, 0,4 and that will give us 87,5. So what we need to do is we need to multiply equation 1 by 87,5. Right, so over here we will have equation 1. Um, so that's 0, uh, sorry, 25 times 87,5. 25 times 87,5 will give us 2187,5 equals 0, 0,4 times 87,5 will give us 35I1 and then 0, 0,3 times 87,5 will give us 26,25 and that is I2. 
2. Now, we're going to subtract equation 2 over here. And we do this mathematically. Okay, so equation 2, we just substitute it as we see it over there. It is 75 equals 35i1. Uh, we have a negative 35,3i2. So the whole objection here is to cancel out this i1. That will make it easier. 2,187,5 minus 75 gives me 2,112,5. And we're left with now a positive 26,25 minus a negative 35,3 will give us uh, 61,55 I2. Right, so therefore, to calculate I2, you can just use your calculator over here. All right, um, okay, I'm using my calculator. Very simply, we say that I2 will be equal to 34,32 all right, now that we've got I2, we can go ahead and calculate I1. In order to do that, we must substitute I2 into equation 1. Okay, so let me write down equation 1 here, the original equation. It was 25 equals 0,4 I1 plus uh, 0,3 I2. So in order to substitute I2, we say 0,4 I1 plus 0,3 times I2, which is uh, 34,322. Okay, you can just take your calculator, a little bit of mathematics, a little bit of division there, a little bit of multiplication, and for I1, we get an answer of uh, 36,76 amps. Right, now that we've got I1 and I2, we can now calculate the volt drop across the load. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to use Ohm's law to help us. Current is directly proportional to voltage, inversely proportional to resistance. So therefore, the volt drop across the load is equal to the current across the load multiplied by the resistance of the load. To calculate this current of the load, and the resistance that will give us this voltage over here across the load so it's going to be i1 minus i2 times 35 so what we do is we substitute our currents in there so it's going to be i1 is uh, 36,76 minus i2 uh, 34,32 multiply by the load resistor of 35 and we end up with a volt drop of 85,33 volts. Alright, thanks guys for watching this video.